Hello Aqua friends, my name is Nicole. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to do a autumn forest with some leaves in the foreground and the background is going to be all fuzzy. So I'm using some various brushes and sponges to get a soft effect in the background. We'll be using a flat brush, round brushes, and a chisel brush. So working on the background layer first, we're going to wet our paper really well. You do want to take your time getting the paper nice and wet. So I'm putting in the skies and the colors that I'm using for the autumn are raw sienna, burnt sienna, burnt amber, And I'm just tapping in these autumn colors, starting from light to dark. So I'm darkening things up a little bit with some more burnt sienna, adding a bit on the floor of the forest. Now these are the shadows of the trees. For the trees, I'm using a combination of sepia and uh, burnt amber. So a tip for you is as your paper dries, you're going to have to use less water in your paint. Otherwise, you'll create a back run or a bloom or a cauliflower or whatever you want to call it. Now, see here how those two skinny branches are pretty dry. My paper is starting to dry. So I'm not going to use a sopping brush, but I'm going to take my flat brush. It's going to be damp, but not overly damp so that I can re-wet those areas where I'm going to put more trees. Now see how it's soft, but I'm not creating any blooms. Now with my sponges, I'm trying to lift up a little bit of uh, bokeh lights, but they're not really that prevalent. And so once my paper dries, I'm further going to lift those with stencils. And I'm not going overboard with that. I just wanted a few. So in the foreground, we're going to work on some leaves with this chisel brush. So I came up with this technique for some maple leaves that I thought was kind of cute. And they're going to be the different fall colors. So alongside, I'm giving you an example here of the raw sienna, and that is quinacridone red. You're going to just dip the tip of your chisel brush in the quinacridone. So you see how you get this gradation of colors from red to yellow. And I'm going to do three strokes, one on each side of the main stroke. And then I'm going to flip my brush and do the edges, the tips of the maple leaf. So I'm practicing that on a scrap piece of paper. And I'm also deciding on what colors I'm going to use. I also have Quinacrid and Sienna, which is a really nice orange color. And I have the burnt umber, so I can make yellow brownish leaves. I can make orangish leaves. And then I could use my Quinacrid and Scarlet with a darker red to get some burgundy leaves. So I'm just sort of playing around. So you see how I do that? You have your main leaf. And then you have two ones on the side. Flip your brush to do the two little ones on the bottom. Hey, if you guys are getting value out of this video, please like and subscribe. Really helps me out on YouTube. I appreciate it. So going for the real deal, I'm making these little leaves. My first leaves, I'm doing the raw sienna with the brown. Now I'm coming in with my reds, with the darker red. 
I have orange with the permanent alizarin crimson. So I'm varying the colors and I'm just kind of making a whole bunch of leaves that are sort of falling into the foreground. Now I'm going to flip my board again so that I could draw the stems. And there's some areas that still need to be filled in. So as I draw my stems, I could kind of see, okay, I need a couple more here and there. So just go back in and put in more leaves wherever you think you need them. So adding in my stems, So once all those stems and leaves are dried, you could come in with your either your sponge or I'm using a stencil at this point with um, a magic eraser, one of those uh, Mr. Clean magic erasers. They work really good to uh, pull up pigment. So getting some nice little bokeh effects. Like I said, I don't want to overdo it. I'm just doing a few closer to the top of the uh, painting. So I. My sponge is damp, and as I scrub, I also lift up even more with the paper towel. So that's how I go about making these little circles. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little painting. This would make a beautiful fall card for somebody. Thanks for watching. See you next week.